Welcome back to the classroom. Today we're going to tackle one of the biggest complaints we hear about in our computer repair shop, which is, I think my computer has a virus. So let's get to it. Did you know that every day, a staggering number of new viruses are discovered lurking in the depths of the internet? It's a digital jungle out there, and we need to equip ourselves with the right tools to navigate safely. So today, we'll walk through the virus and malware removal process we generally use in our computer repair shop. Step one, don't panic. I know it feels like your computer's gone rogue, but we're going to fix this. First, disconnect from the internet. Unplug that ethernet cable or turn off your Wi-Fi. Why? Because you don't want that virus calling home to its friends and inviting more viruses to the party. Again, disconnecting from the internet. Temporarily, help stop the virus from spreading further across your network or downloading any more malware. It's like cutting the power in a horror movie. You slow down the creepy villain from sneaking in. And no, you can't check your Facebook real quick. Disconnected means disconnected. Okay, now that we've gone offline, we need to put our PC in safe mode. Safe mode is like putting your computer in a diagnostic quarantine. It runs only the essential programs, so hopefully the pesky virus can't cause as much trouble. To boot into safe mode, let's go to your power menu and hold shift on your keyboard while clicking restart. Hold the shift key until you get the please wait prompt. Then select troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and restart. Then select five, safe mode with networking. Because yes, we'll need the internet back for some of the next steps. Okay, safe mode the calm before we unleash the virus fighting fury. So let's get this done. All right, first let's check to see if we can remove any problematic apps directly. You can do that manually from the programs list, but today we'll use a free program called Revo Uninstaller. Now ideally, you'd have another clean PC to initially download some of this software to a USB drive to use, but if not, no worries. Just go ahead and reconnect your ethernet cable or re-enable your Wi-Fi again while we're in safe mode. Otherwise, download the software from a clean PC. We'll go ahead and download Malwarebytes and Bitdefender Free from a clean computer and transfer it via USB to the infected PC. Again, if you're forced to download these from your infected PC, proceed. We'll download both AV apps here for good measure. Okay, now let's go to our USB drive and install Revo Uninstaller on our infected PC. We'll walk through the uninstall for all of these junk apps. If you're not certain an app is junk or not, just leave it for now and come back to it. All right, now we've gotten a bulk of the junk apps uninstalled in safe mode, let's restart. Now it's time to bring out the big guns, the antivirus and malware removal softwares. If you already have an antivirus installed, that's fine, but you may wish to utilize some of these other removal tools as well. All right, next up, our favorite antivirus and malware hunting tool, Malwarebytes. But first, we'll reconnect that internet to keep the fun moving along.
Let's go back to our USB drive and install Malwarebytes to our infected PC. Malwarebytes will find and quarantine the bad guys. Viruses, Trojans, malware, spyware, all those nasty little creeps hiding in your system. It's like sending in a team of elite digital soldiers to kick the viruses out of your PC. Say goodbye to those weird pop-ups and background ad speeches. Let's run a scan with Malwarebytes and remove any infections found. Okay, so we'll install Bitdefender Free as well and run a secondary scan for good measure. Now, sometimes a virus is like that one party guest that just won't leave. For those stubborn infections, we'll need to bring a few specialized malware removal tools. Tools like ADW Cleaner and Rogue Killer are specifically designed to handle tricky infections, including adware and rogue programs that might have slipped through your regular antivirus. A DW Cleaner is great for removing adware, browser hijackers, and unwanted toolbars that magically appear. Rogue Killer digs even deeper finding and removing rogue processes that are running in the background. Again, it's like calling in the special forces to get rid of those last few intruders. These tools are efficient, powerful, and best of all, free. Let's install ADW Cleaner and run a scan. As expected, it's found some leftover uglies that the antivirus softwares didn't remove. Now let's install Rogue Killer and run a scan as well. Same thing, more viral remnants were found. Okay, you've successfully wiped viral and malware traffic from your system. Great job, but don't get too comfortable. There's a few more steps to clean up and prevention. Now let's clean out those temp junk files. On your keyboard, hit the Windows button plus R, then type T-E-M-P. Select and delete anything in this folder.
Next, again on your keyboard, hit the Windows button plus R, then type percent temp percent. Again, select and delete anything in this folder. Lastly, on your keyboard, hit the Windows button plus R again. This time, type P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H. Again, select and delete anything in this folder. Next, we want to check the startup area for anything nasty. Open Task Manager, click the Startup tab, and verify no uglies are automatically starting up. Next, make sure your apps are all up to date. These updates often include security patches to fix vulnerabilities and keep viruses out in the future. To do this, we'll use a free app called Patch My PC. Let's go grab it and update our apps. Now for good measure, let's reset our web browsers to negate any rogue extensions or search engine issues. Next up, let's run a system restore point to bookend our cleanup process. Lastly, let's run Windows updates to update the operating system. Be sure it's also set to run these updates automatically. And there you have it, the ultimate guide to removing viruses and keeping your PC safe. I hope you enjoyed this video on virus removal. If so, please smash that like button and subscribe. We'd really appreciate the support. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the classroom. Bye-bye, everybody.